Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of September. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is for any sun, moon or rising Taurus. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness or the big ideas for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, the first two cards, the awareness for the week. So the awareness of the week, we have the Ten of Pentacles. And as you can see from this illustration, we have the couple, we have the, the patriarch, we have the dogs, we have the child. We have the home in the background. This is a card for you to focus on the welfare, the resources, the finance per, finances perhaps for your family. And so what's happening is that, you know, all the hard work that you're doing, you are putting into taking care of your family. You may be taking care of just yourself right now, but ultimately this is about legacies of looking and to ensuring that there's enough for children, that there's enough to take care of elderly parents or grandparents, that properties are taken care of, that um, investments are looked after. So this may be a week where you are touching base with an attorney or an investment counselor, making sure that the will or the medical power of attorney is up to date. So there are a lot of things that you can do to, to uh, consider and to take care of what the family needs. So focus, is on, focus on resources, investments, and finances. And the, uh, the devotion to take care, taking care of your family, of making sure that your family is provided for. So another idea or big idea or, or uh, awareness for the week is this major arcana card of strength. And so in the illustration, we see the woman here kind of gently handling the lion. And so it's about controlling and taming this wild animal, the beast. And it really goes to yourself of controlling and showing this soft control in how you interact with others. This is a card that tells you that you have the inner strength and that you have a heart that's big enough and strong enough and loving enough to handle whatever you need to handle. The challenges, the adversity, the obstacles that come your way, whatever it may be, and that you can do it. You can particularly be successful and you can show a lot of strength when you use kindness and compassion and consideration versus trying to force someone to your will or to dominate. So this is a, uh, so, reminder, an overall idea that in the times that are challenging for you, if you have those this week, to think twice about how you present yourself and how you're approaching the issue. Are you, uh, are you standing up for what you believe in? Are you saying things tactfully but forcefully to protect yourself? You know, your heart is big enough to take care of whatever it is that you're going through. So interesting. So with guidance, uh, this strength card is important because we have the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles is uh, what you see here. You see this hard luck pair walking out in the snow outside of this church or this structure with the beautiful stained glasses that display the pentacles, the coins. They don't really notice it. They're walking right past it. More than likely, it's because they're very much in this sense of lack, of this sense of struggle. So you may have a situation this week where you feel that you're struggling. Perhaps you're under the weather. You're not feeling well. You're feeling exhausted, stressed out, or just simply a head cold or, or something of that nature where you're not at your best. This can also go to feeling a lack of resources, a lack of support, that you're struggling financially or that you're struggling 
uh, in your relationships or, or not getting the love or the support that you feel that you need. So a couple things is that if you're feeling that way, it's best to just kind of stop and to pivot and to think about the people that you could reach out to, to talk to, to get some info, you know, to get some help to, to uh, share what's going on. And if your friends or family are unwilling to help or unable to help, sometimes there are community services that can help out as well. But it's a sense here of you perhaps feeling that you need support so that you can be on the road to recovery so that you, be, you can begin to turn it around to feel better. With this five of pentacles as guidance, we have the five, another five, another five of swords. And this is a card of perspective. And you can see the fellow in green is kind of smirking and he's holding three of the swords. And he's looking back and he may be saying, I gotcha this time. I've won. I'm the winner. Smugness could be nastiness as well. So whether you're going to be in a conflict or a discussion or something where you feel that maybe support is being pulled from you, maybe you feel like you're losing support, you might be dealing with a jerk, someone who is so hell-bent on winning at all costs that it gets ugly. So the other perspectives in this card is this fella who's probably laid down the sword and said it's not worth it. The energy spent with you in this argument or conflict or discussion, simply not worth it for me. I'm walking away. You can have it all. I don't care. This person, head and hands, perhaps feels more shame or has been humiliated. So if you have a rough spot with someone else this week, you're going to have to decide, is this an argument or a conflict that is so important to me that I need to come out on top? I may lose a friend or two, but you have to make that decision. Or is it a, is it a case that you are saying, to hell with this? Or you feel that you've been, uh, that you've lost and it's really hurting and you may feel humiliated. You may feel broken. So, um, again, perspective. I would go back to say that when these situations happen, you have to rely on strength to be your mantra and your guidance as well. Okay, so we're getting a lot more information here with the Page of Swords this defensive position. Some people describe the Page of Swords as a spy card, but for today, we're gonna to go with this, again, gray clouds, the wind whipping back, looking out over his shoulder as if to say, what's next? I'm ready for whatever's gonna happen. Standing ready to defend himself, to take care. You may have to be prepared for what comes next. Here's this been this conflict. And then here comes this position where it's like, maybe you're thinking, I'm not going to let it happen to me again, and I'm going to do a better job. I'm going to focus on the truth, the facts of the matter, what's happening, and I'm going to say my truth. I'm going to speak with clarity. And whatever situation, whatever problem solving, I'm going to have to use my head to get out of this situation. And then another possible outcome is death, major arcana. So death does not mean uh, physical death. This is the, the death of an idea. Could be the death of a relationship. It could be the death or the ending of something that you held dear to you, that you're going to have to let go. Because we deal with death all the time. It's such a part of our life. It's un we feel that it's unpleasant, but it's there, and we have to learn to cope with death, which is something needs to end. When, you're, when you are good and you're ready to let it end, 
then you, you open the space for new things to come in which are good for you, which will be better for you. And perhaps a situation here, maybe it's having to do with your family and the family, family dynamics, but um, this conflict and this sense of poverty consciousness or lack of support this, you're going to have to let a situation end so that it can get better for you. Very daunting to see the skeleton rider here, but he's, he's sending a message which is, it's okay, let it go. Let it go so that something new can be grown, new fertile plants that can come in after whatever the the hard luck or the rotten luck or the whatever has been going on to allow it to end. So interesting, um, interesting cards certainly could be the sense of exhaustion or illness here having to get over this hump. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards. For Gates of triumph, success expands in your life. So maybe this is a, uh, an, uh, a glimpse into what the future holds. The gates of triumph, that when you let something end and to die a natural death, then these gates open to you. You can leave some of this behind. You can take what you need and move forward to success to happiness, to abundance. Okay, so let's see what a message is for spirit or emotional self. Spiritual support. Dear angel, angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. And again, through challenging times where you have to rely on your strength, where you have to get through the tough times and the conflict, you develop spiritually, you evolve. Why? Because you have that experience underneath your belt. Okay, and finally, let's choose a card for love and see what the message is for love for the week. Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on a time when you experience love. I think that's a beautiful message because if you are feeling a lack of support, if you are feeling that people don't have your back or are in your business causing issues, turn on your heart light. Let your love shine and try to recapture what it feels to, to come from a good place. And again, when you shine your light, others see that heart light um, glowing and are drawn to it. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something here that was helpful. If you did, please subscribe if you enjoyed the re reading, like, share, or comment, and have a wonderful week. I wish you the best, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.